Hi, Mark Savage here with Savage on Wheels. Got a Mercedes here, a little wagon. I mean, they're going to call it an SUV or a crossover. The EQB, EQ means electric. I mean, I understand the E, I'm not sure about the Q. We have no idea. The B means that this is based on the uh, B version of the SUVs that they have, uh, MLBs. It's really a lot of initials. <laughs> a, B, C, D, yeah, e, F. A, B, yeah. But this is an electric one, 245 mile range or so, which isn't bad, but not super fantastic. Uh, but it's, it looks like a little wagon. I mean, to me, this is uh, nothing special looking. Of course, you know, they don't put a grill on a lot of these. We still go to the giant logo on the yep. front, along with a little logo. Little logo, so you're not confused so you're that not it's confused a Mercedes-Benz. What that stands for. Uh, we got the blue trim on here, which means it's electric and for the, most All things. the auto manufacturers must have gotten together and decided blue is the color. They love the blue. And well, we, some of them have green. I like oh, the green. That's oh, breaking cool. away from the pack. But, Paul, we were noticing the wheels here are kind of cool yep. because they're wanting to be more aerodynamic, so they've got this kind of filled in uh, like solid F1, area. F1 wheels. Yeah, like kind of like F1 wheels. Uh, and, you know, Mercedes, and it's got the. Yeah. Where's uh, Total uh, Wolf? Right there. Uh, now this is always what's fun, just like the Volkswagens do this too. Oh, EQB 300. There's a 250, a 300, and a, and a 350 for 2023. I think, you know, decent storage back yep. here. Uh, nice room there, of course. They got the floor, under the floors where all the plugs and stuff are that we can plug in. Uh, but I think, yeah, very useful little wagon. I like it and then, uh, we'll show you, it's pretty quick too. I, really sharp looking interior on this thing, Paul. Uh, got a flat bottom wheel, so you that's, like a, that? that, that's a big win as far as I'm concerned, but that's 360 bucks extra. But I do, <laughs> I would do it, because I like that. Uh, got the little roller here for the volume, I like that. Uh, this is, of course, for cruise control over here. Uh, I like the kind of brushed metal, that's mm -hmm. cool. I like the brushed metal look on the, on the vents here. Wide enough screen, I don't know what that is, probably 9 or t 10 inches. Uh, but that's fine, and I don't need it to be sticking up real high. So you got better visibility. Again, you got the brush metal look here, kind of that pattern there, and then yeah. with the red trim around it, that's really we sharp. Think that lights up. Yeah, we think it's glowing. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. Uh, but it's everywhere. It's like so. That's kind of neat. And you can see there's a little bit of red on the on the uh, uh, vent ductwork duct there. Yeah. Heated seats in the in the side here. We got to punch the button for that, but that's nice because it's easy to get out. I didn't have to go into a screen and find that uh, auto. Temp control, all these are toggles, so that's easy. You just reach over and tap those, that's good. Uh, and, uh, you know, we got a big giant sunroof here, but that's 1500 bucks extra. And you can get this with a third row seat, but Paul and I are trying to figure no. out what. There's not much room behind, I mean, there's decent room for start cargo, but I don't know how you get it. For another, midgets. Yeah, I don't know. You. Or, I'm sorry, vertically challenged people. Yeah, vertically challenged, that would be a problem back there, but uh, nonetheless, you know, power hatch, all that good stuff. Uh, a nice interior, and it's and it's a leathery kind of a combination leathery suede. side suite and a little suede on the on the bottom cushion. So that's nice too. Uh, three memory buttons over here, always nice to have. And your seat adjustments are over here. At least a lot of them are right here, so that's easy to get at. Uh, I don't know. I this is a fun vehicle. I I could live with this. Not not a problem, man. So uh, as we've said, there's three levels with this. The 250 starts out with 188 horsepower. And again, that's because it's got a single uh, uh, electric motor for it. And this one goes with a 225 horsepower and all wheel drive. And then the upper level, the 350, goes all the way up to 288 horsepower uh, with two electric motors. And uh, you know that's gonna give you lots of power. This is plenty fast, Paul. Uh, the acceleration is really good, and of course it's quiet because it's uh, electric. I'm trying to get to a point here where I can see, <laughs> uh, so I don't uh, have problems with the uh, officers, the officers of the law. But but here we go. That really jumps up quick, you know, and it's smooth, man. It's like it had a second wind. You yeah. know, it took off quick and then it kind of got faster. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's, that's kind of exciting, I think. You know, for a little wagon, uh, which I know they don't want me to call a wagon, but still. Yeah, they're uh, all wagons. But it handles really nice too. I mean, I can uh, show you it's it's quick handling here, and for a shorter wheelbase, I mean, this is I think 111, which isn't really short, mm -hmm. but uh, for a smaller car, 
it uh, it rides pretty nice too. So I, you know, I, a lot of good features here with all-wheel drive and all that. Uh, this would be great around Wisconsin in the winter time, and uh, I think this is a you know certainly a nice electric vehicle. Uh, a little bit pricey if you go anything beyond the base level. Oh, let's get the Mercedes name. Yes. A 2022, but 2023s are just coming out. Uh, the 250, the, the EQB 250, starts at 53.4. Not bad. I'm, you know, that's de you know for a wagon and a Mercedes. Uh, this version, which is the 300, goes for about 57 and change. And this one was 61 with a few things added on. And then you go to the 350 line, that goes up to about 63,000 and you know, everything always has a little more power, a few more options, or less options, more standard equipment.